Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you my Brawler Monk build that I've been making over the past month. Basically, the purpose of this build is that it is a very self-sufficient character that is able to solo bosses very easily, as well as take most of the ranks when you're in a party. Now, generally, this build is able to take the support rank because they have Warcry and they put it in their combo. They also have Bless, which they can use to heal themselves and their teammates, which is how they solo things. They can steal the breaker rank pretty easily because, of course, they're a brawler. They have aggravate and strong chase attack, a lot of their skills cause ailments, and they can attack very quickly. They're also generally able to take the taker the <laughs> take the tanker rank because their combos generally gather a lot of aggro, and their auto attacks gather more aggro because of because of aggravate. Although I do have a little bit of a problem with getting the attacker rank, and that is mostly because the equipment that I'm using right now isn't that great. But anyways, let's move on to my character stats. So as you can see, right here are all of my stats. This may seem a little bit confusing because my character is sort of a DPS oriented character and I'm putting points into intelligence and vitality, even though they are a brawler. But the general idea though is that the intelligence helps them with healing from, from bless as well as increases their magic defense so that way if they do get hit by say you know like let's say that the attack that they're getting hit by isn't a physical attack which means they can't dodge it the general idea is that the magic defense will help them out a little bit and then of course i also gain more hp and defense from vitality which just in general increases my survivability but generally you do want to try to get full agility so that way you can sort of maximize your dps now with other brawlers they like to go with strength and dexterity and it is true that those brawlers will have a higher dps than this character but their dps won't be too significantly higher the only thing that sort of limits my character's dps is of course their terrible equipment but yeah in general there are different ways to allocate these stats the first method is to first go full agility and then spend the rest of your points on intelligence and vitality just sort of half them like this and the other way is to spend a yeah i think like a fifth of whatever you have spent on that on agility on intelligence and vitality up until your intelligence and vitality reach 40 then you finish fi or you finish maxing out agility then you go for intelligence and vitality so in general, this character has a decent enough of a DPS to kill bosses like Iconos and Ifrid within 2 minutes, and they have high enough of a survivability to not need to use Revitas when they are soloing things and such like that. Although if you were fighting a very strong boss, you probably would have to use Revitas, but you wouldn't really need to use as many as, of course, like other characters would need to use. And then of course, stats like Flea help you with like avoiding auto attacks and such because auto attacks can do a lot of damage to your character which is of course the major advantage of agility builds is that auto attacks don't do a whole lot to them unless they're like magic auto attacks like I think the ooze has but of course I mean attack speed up here also helps because if you have 1.1k attack speed your auto attacks will be able to attack pretty much instantly or like you know how there's like that little timer down at the bottom of your screen like if I attack there would be like a little bar right here but yeah essentially getting your attack speed up to 1.1k will get rid of that and all the rest of the attack speed will give you motion speed which will help you uh or like it'll help you move out of the way of like you know red area attacks so that way you can use things like A and PR easily and just you know stuff like that anyways let's move on to my skills all right, here we go. So of course the martial skills are the most important to this character since they use knuckles. Generally you just need to get smashed to level six to maximize its flinch rate. Tum I mean, sonic wave to level 10 so you can maximize its tumble rate. Shell break so you can or <laughs> maximize its uh, armor break rate so you can get MP from it. Of course heavy smash so you can do a lot of damage as well as uh, you know benefit from lethargy and get triple kick to level 10 so that you can do damage with it. Then of course martial mastery is very important for this build as it will increase both your offense and your defense because it raises your attack and your magic attack. 
So yeah, you definitely need to get that. You also need to get Martial Discipline because it raises your attack speed a little bit, which of course will give you more motion speed and it'll raise the damage that your skills do. Then over here, uh, these two are kind of optional. You really just need to get Aggravate to level 1 so that you can get the MPR. But personally, I like to I like to maximize my Aggravate rate because of course that gathers aggro and stuff like that. Helps you deal just a little bit of extra damage. And then of course strong chase attack can help with like armor break and whatever, but generally you just need to get this to level 1. And then of course over here, uh, this is probably another one of the most important skills, is that you need to get this. You really only need to get it to level 1. Uh, I actually use this as my saver skill instead of impact, because for a brawler, since you are using triple kick, you don't really need impact. Although I do want it, I do want to get it eventually for like heavy smash, so I can make a, like a smite heavy smash combo, because I don't have impact right now. But I like to use Warcry better because if you're fighting a sensitive boss, you don't have to like get something like, you know, the uh, Steeplejack Talisman, and that way you don't have to sacrifice the Donietti Krista, or you could just like get a Donietti Krista on the Steeplejack Talisman, but that would cost a lot. So I prefer to use Warcry, plus it helps you with uh, stealing the uh, support rank. And then over here, shot skills. I'm going to get that eventually, but that's going to take a while. Right now I'm actually going to save the rest of my skill points for the level 150 skills, so that way I can, you know, stay up with, like, I guess the other brawlers and whatever. And of course, magic skills. Need to get that. I'm going to get that eventually, which of course this is impact for those of you who don't know. And of course, I need that right there. I'm going to get that eventually. I might consider getting this, uh, meaning that I will have a lot of vitality in the near future, which of course meaning that this would actually heal me by quite a bit. I know a lot of people think that this is a, that this is a terrible skill. I will leave a link into the description to my fighter's high tank, so that way you can truly see what it can do. But however, I'm not sure if I want to get it for this build or not. And support. Yes, I do want to get that, or this right here. It does help a lot with like soloing and stuff, because if you have a lot of HP, you can pretty much use it to replace your Evitas. And of course, since I'm also going to have a lot of HP in the future, I want to get uh, Restore or whatever this one is called to get rid of ailments, but I don't really need it right now because I only have 4.7k HP. And then over here, you definitely need to get this for the extra critical damage. This one right here you don't really need, but I wanted to get the extra attack. And then of course, Bless and Enhance Bless, which are pretty much the things that, you know, they give you your healing and stuff. And they allow you to, you know, like, solo bosses and whatever without, you know, using Revitas and stuff. And then of course you need Holy Fist just in case you're fighting a sensitive boss, and you can use this to replace skills like Sonic Wave and uh, Smash or whatever. Okay, now it's time to move on to my combos. Now, the general idea with my combos is that I don't necessarily have some specific combos that I will always use. Instead, I shape my combos based on what I need to, you know, perform a certain role or if I'm going to fight a certain boss. But I generally have certain combos that I tend to use a lot. This one right here is my main DPS combo. It costs 1 MP. It does a pretty decent amount of damage, though... Triple Kick will do minus 10% damage because of save, and it'll also prorate one less. Which of course if you had impact right here, it would do a little bit more damage, but however I personally prefer to have Warcry. So that way if say I'm fighting a sensitive boss, I can do this. And I won't have to worry about, you know, the Steeplejack Talisman or whatever. But however, this one right here pretty much just sort of stunlocks the whatever I'm fighting while I'm using my combo, so that way you don't have to worry about getting hit by an AoE. And then of course, I can also do this if I want to play a semi-support. Of course, Swift speeds that up a little bit. I know that this is a double save, and a lot of people don't really like double saves because, you know, they do hinder your DPS a little bit, but since I have this one right here before Smash, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. And then my next combo, which is arguably probably one of my worst combos for this build. Although it does work pretty well with semi-tanking and soloing, because it does a decentish amount of damage. 
and wait hold on that's the wrong tag but yeah it does a decent kind of amount of damage and it's pretty safe to use but you can't really use it on sensitive bosses the general idea though is that this prevents the boss from doing anything this puts lethargy on them so they deal less damage this deals damage this does the same thing as Sonic Wave, but instead it's Flinch. And then this heals me. But yeah, you probably don't want to use this in a competitive standpoint because obviously it's minus 2 paration, minus 10% damage. So it's not really going to do a whole lot. But yeah, it is pretty decent for like soloing, whatever. Anyways, let's go on ahead and move on to my equipment. Alright, so here's my character. As you can see, none of their equipment is really that great. Uh, it's pretty terrible, I don't really have a whole lot of crystals and whatever, but let's go on ahead and just go over these. So basically, with your weapon, you don't really want to focus on your critical rate, you just need attack, agility, and critical damage. Right now, my blacksmith, or my statter blacksmith, is only at level 107, so I can only do plus 10 stats, but I am going to be working on that soon. And it is also very important that you refine your weapon for this type of build, because since that increases both your attack and your magic attack, it is important for both offense and defense, since you're using Bless to heal yourself. And of course, Chaos Knife gives you plus 1000 HP. Pretty simple. Uh, for your armor, you just need to use full crit equipment, but at this time when I made this, I didn't know how to make full crit equipment, so I just sort of made this. But just make sure that you make full crit equipment just as long as both, you know, your armor and your weapon don't lower your magic attack or your accuracy like most builds would. Because your accuracy actually is kind of important for this build, but it's not really something you want to focus on. And of course my additional equipment, uh, I use the Traveler's Cape. So of course that extra accurate, the, the extra accuracy is nice because it helps me hit my target even though I don't have a very high crit rate. And of course a lot of people would probably be wondering, you know, why wouldn't we? <laughs> well, I can't talk today. Why wouldn't you want to maximize your critical rate? Well, the main reason is for brawlers, that's not really going to do DPS by a whole lot since, you know, the skill that you're using for your DPS doesn't do a whole or It already has a very high crit rate, so maximizing your critical rate wouldn't do a whole lot. So for the most part, I would say focus on your attack and your critical damage stats, and then maybe a little bit of accuracy so that you can hit your target more and prevent grazing. And additionally, if I'm fighting something that has a high dodge rate, I can just use this. And I also have a speed talisman for the extra MP, the extra agility, and I also have a Don Yeti Krista in there, which gives me plus 100 attack and also minus 1000 attack speed. But however, personally for me, this is already enough attack speed. I don't really need more, but I am going to get more eventually. And as you can see, I have a very high attack stat from that. And then of course my avatars. So that is pretty much it for my build. Let's go on ahead and see it in action.